Hello, so for this tutorial you'll need any knight's own that you own. Or the first step you just prime the whole mini with cyan and white, mix of one to one ratio. I needed to make two coats here, but if only one works, just go with one. And here is when it's done, it's almost dry. For the next step, we're just going to shade the miniature. The same color, but just a bit darker on the lower area of the miniature. So this step should not take you a lot of time. You don't need to be precise, you just need to take the brush and paint his cloth. Here you see me with another angle and we're just going to glaze the two colors together. For glazing, you just need to use the darker color we use to shade the cloth. You add a bit of water in it and load your brush. Then you just need to unload some of that water on your paper towel and then paint where the two colors meet. With the paintbrush strokes going where the color you use is. In our case, we go from top to bottom and it will blend the two colors together. Of course, the more water you add it to your paint, the thinner the glaze will be. And that's the end result for the glaze. Next step is to add white on top of the miniature. With just white and water. You can add a bit of blue or green if you'd like. This color scheme just work with every color as long as it's bright on top and dark on the low end of the miniature. Anyway, you're going to see it's like a really quick process. And that's maybe an idea for my Knight on Army. I'm maybe going to buy a Knight on Army just to try this speed painting technique. Tell me if you guys are interested in seeing this or not. I'm just going to speed a bit because it takes some time to apply the white. And go everywhere on top of the figure and like don't, you don't really care at this point. You don't really care at any point. Just it's a really beginner friendly bit painting job. Okay, next is just to dry brush some white on top of the whole figurines. Like basic dry brush, you take some of the paint, dry it with your paper towel and apply it on your miniature. So we always a bit out of focus here. And it's going to be an make an icy effect like ice, and I really like it for night owns. The next step is to paint metal parts with gunmetal or any silver that you have. Just do it on the whole miniature and try to be precise this time. I really think that's a good paint job for beginners because you've got a nice result at the end and basic steps to make it look pretty. Well, at least I think they're pretty, but whatever. The next part is just to paint the wood. So take any brown. I'm using a really a really translucent paint here. I should have made it a bit less translucent, sorry. And it's exactly the same. Try to be as precise as possible and the result will be great. The next step is just to add a wash on all the silver parts in the wood parts as well as the head. I like to give it a little more definition. You don't need to wash the whole miniature because we already shaded it and we want to have a ghost effect. We're going to take care of the base now, so you can take any brown or orange or mix brown and orange as you wish and paint your base. Anyway, any orange will do. It's really I told you, it's really an easy, an easy way to paint night horns. 
And it's going to work well because orange and blue are quite at the opposite in the color wheel. And so it's going to be to give the miniature a um, more distinguished look on the table. It's going to pop a lot. For the base, I'm also adding some pigments, so that's dry pastels. Or soft pastels work as well. Just add brown, yellow, and orange. So that's what I'm what I'm doing right now. To apply it, you need um, th um, um, airbrush thinner. It's better, but you can also work work with a mix of alcohol, just isopropylic alcohol. Put some some it down. I never used water before, but maybe it works with water. Tell me in the comments if it works with water, guys. And you just take the pigment and apply it on the base. I told you it's really basic. I wonder how many hours do we need to speed paint a wall 2000 point army with this technique. I'm also you adding a more brownish pigment. A little bit darker. And here we go. And then we just need to finish and clean off the rim of the base with some black. I'm always using black because I don't like brown. I feel like black um, really separates the model from the table when I'm gaming. And that's it for the paintbrush paint job, guys. Let's go on with the airbrush paint job. For the airbrush, it's basically the same thing as with the brush. So first we take a prime mini and we base coat it with light blue. Then we are going to add black to our light blue and apply it on the lower part of the mini. Once this is done, we take our orange and airbrush it to our base. And the spray should not be really precise at this point. If it's a bit messy, it's even better. It will look like they spent a few days and got dirty, even if it's technically impossible as I could, but you know, whatever. Then we'll switch the airbrush to a brush and repeat the same steps we did with the dry brushing, the silver parts and the pigment. And now it's time for the grand reveal. 